What's going on guys? Dwayne here with My Investment Journey and I am back again. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the six dividend payment that I got for the month of September, which didn't really get me that much money, but I'll take it because dividend investing is not necessarily about the now and the today, but it's about the tomorrows and the future. But hey, if you're new to this channel, once again, my name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey and on this channel, I talk about how to start investing in the stock market and I show you my investment journey. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Okay, so when it comes to investing in the stock market, I have had an interesting experience and I'm still learning. And the beauty of me learning is that I'm going to share that with you guys here on this channel. So once again, be sure to subscribe, all right? Okay, so right now I have on the screen my current portfolio with Robinhood. This is live as of the making of this video. And this is my second time making this video. <laughs> so hopefully everything goes well in this particular video. Uh, currently you're looking at $241,887.70. Of course, it's going to change because this is live and I'm showing you my account live. So as of now, today I'm down negative $200. Um, actually, it was funny because when I made the video earlier, I was down like a thousand and something dollars. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the six dividend payments that I got from the six different dividend companies for the month of September. And the last dividend payments that I got last month was actually more, it's like 600 and something dollars. And this month, it's only $367.71 from the six different companies that I was paid. But once again, dividends are not about every single day or today, this particular picture, what it looks like right now, but what it will look like in 20 years, 30 years. Uh, there's a lot of ways to make money in the stock market and dividend investing is one of those ways. So once again, you're looking at my portfolio currently on the screen. Um, I am right now, overall, I'm still down um, like, uh, let's say $100. So if I show you all, by clicking on the screen, since May of 2020, I have invested in the stock market $241,855.30. Right now, my account is valued at $241,830. Of course, it's gonna be moving all over the place, okay? Um, but there was a point when I was down negative $63,000 and I wasn't doing dividend investing. So as you can see on the screen, October 30th, 2020, I was down negative $63,000. I was not doing dividend investing. I was trying to be a day trader, but I didn't have any experience, okay? So I had to learn the hard way. All right, but I like to show you guys that and I like to be transparent because I want people to understand that your journey in regards to the stock market, depending on the type of uh, investment strategy that you want to have, whether it's very hands-on or hands-off, you're gonna have an interesting experience. It's the stock market. Your money's gonna go up and down, okay? So don't necessarily fret when it's not doing well today or this month. Uh, that may not always be the case moving forward, all right? So I'm going to show you here in my Robinhood account, um, I basically have gotten 10 payments for the month of September. So at the bottom of the screen, um, you can see August the 31st. So we're not gonna count that. We have September the 10th here with Exxon. The next payment is AGNC Investment on September the 10th as well. And then on uh, September the 23rd, Prospect Capital, another dividend payment there. September the 23rd uh, as well, another dividend payment from Vanguard, High Dividend Yield ETF. Uh, and then, of course, a dividend payment on September the 29th from Armour Residential REIT. Another dividend payment on September 30th from Gladstone Capital. And I will show you the breakdown in each of these companies. So the first one up is Exxon. So I'll click on that here. And as you guys can see, uh, this is my third dividend payment from Exxon. The first was March 10th, June 10th, and then of course, September the 10th, Exxon pays, uh, they pay quarterly. So right here, you can see the most recent payment was for $92.20. But if I go back and show you guys right now what Exxon is trading for and how much my account is uh, currently, like what it's valued at. Um, right now, Exxon is trading for $59.41. Of course, that's gonna move because this is live. Um, my current market value is $63,000, $6,395. 6, 
Uh, my total return is uh, $1,622. I'm up 33%. Now it's $1,621. I'm up 33%, which is always a very good thing. So um, once again, I got the most recent dividend payment with Exxon for 90 something dollars. And let's see how much Exxon is paying per share. Right here, you can see Exxon's paying 87 cents per share right here. Uh, and they took the $92, Robinhood did, and reinvested it because I have Drip turned on, which is dividend reinvestment plan. So I have that turned on and they were able to grab some shares. Uh, they were able to grab 1.68% or 1.68 shares. And at the time it was $54.88. Now, once again, Exxon is trading right now for $59. Uh, so I was able to grab some shares at a lower cost than it is currently. That's always a very good thing. The next one up is going to be AGNC Investments. I think this is like my 12th or 13th dividend payment with AGNC. Uh, they do pay monthly, as you guys can see here. So if I go back, November the 10th was my first, uh, December 2nd, January 3rd, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is my 11th dividend payment here on September the 10th. And as you can see, they're paying 12 cents per share and I got $23.07 for this particular month. This is a monthly dividend paying company. Um, and if I go back here and show you guys uh, what AGNC is currently trading at this particular moment, it's $15.87. Overall, my market value is $3,072. I'm currently, my total return is $181.61, which is always a good thing. So um, I always, whenever I'm winning, whenever I'm up, I'm like, yo, I should have grabbed more shares, especially with Exxon because I'm up 33% with Exxon. That's the second company. The third company is Prospect Capital, currently is trading for $7.76. My overall market value right now is $11,442. I am currently up, my total return, I'm currently up $841, actually $833, uh, and I'm up 7.87%. Now, of course, this is going to be fluctuating because the market is open right now at the making of this video. So as you can see, um, I have my most recent dividend payment was for uh, $87 and 82 cents. This is on September the 23rd. And Robinhood went ahead and reinvested for me because I have drip turned on. They were able to grab 10.97 shares at $8 per share. Uh, once again, Prospect Capital is trading for $7.76. The next one is uh, Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF. This is an ETF, so this is a collection of companies. It's not just one company, it's a collection of companies. I actually don't know how many companies are in this particular ETF, but I felt comfortable um, buying shares with this particular ETF. So as you guys can see, um, currently my market value is $1,210. Uh, I'm actually up $161, which is 15.38%. Once again, this is another one where I wish I would have grabbed more shares. Uh, the beauty of this channel is that I'm learning on the fly and I'm showing you guys as I'm learning. Uh, I'm by no means a guru. I'll never be a guru, but I will continue to share my journey and experience in regards to the stock market. Okay, so um, this is a quarterly paying uh, ETF. And so let me show you my most, uh, how many payments I've gotten. So the first payment was March 26th. Uh, the second payment was June 24th, which is a great day, the best day actually, because that's my birthday. And then September the 23rd was my most recent payment. That's with Vanguard. Okay, the next company is going to be Armour Residential REIT, uh, and they're currently trading for $10.82. Uh, currently, my market value is $9,641. I'm not very happy at the moment, uh, but that's the stock market. Sometimes you're winning like crazy with one company and not so much with another. And Armour Residential, not so much. My total return is $881 and I am currently down 8.37%. Um, Armour Residential pays dividends monthly. 
Uh, and as you can see here, uh, this is still pending, even though at the time of making this video, it's September the 30th. I'll show you guys on my computer September the 30th here. Um, and so this is supposed to be in my account as of the 29th, but whatever, it's still pending. So my most recent payment with Amor Residential is going to be for $89.11, and they are paying 10 cents per share, okay? Um, I have gotten a substantial amount of dividend payments with Amor Residential. Let me show you guys here, just to kind of show you some consistency with how many dividend payments I've gotten. So as you can see, February was my first payment. So February, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have gotten eight payments. So eight payments with Armor Residential REIT because they do pay monthly. The last one on here is Gladstone Capital. Uh, and currently Gladstone Capital is trading for $11.43. As you guys can see, my market value is $11,758 and my total return is up $649.64, which is also 5.85%. Um, Armor, uh, Armor Residential, Gladstone Capital uh, pays, uh, do they pay? They pay monthly, it's a monthly paying dividend. Uh, and as you guys can see, that, that payment is still pending because it's supposed to be on September the 30th. And Armor, Armor Gladstone Capital is currently paying 0.0 six five cents per share okay um, of course when i get the payment i do have drip uh enabled on Robinhood, and Robinhood will automatically grab some more shares for me uh, let me show you guys i think this is probably like the fifth or sixth maybe even fourth payment that i've gotten from gladstone capital so here is my history with gladstone capital the first payment was in april so we have april may june july august and then September. So that is going to be my sixth dividend payment. Now, once again, these six dividend payments, when I do the math and I add it up, um, my amount that I've gotten for the month of September is $367.71. Last month was more because of course you have different payments from different companies and some companies pay quarterly. So of course I have Apple in there, you know, one time I have AT&T in there, which those two companies do pay quarterly. One of the things about uh, dividend investing in my portfolio is you're seeing $241,000 and you're saying, well, why is the dividend payment only $367? Well, um, out of the $241,000, I have about 80,000 or so invested with Apple. Uh, let me double check and show you guys. And then of course I have about uh, 50,000 or so invested with Tesla. Tesla does not pay dividends of course, and Apple's dividend payment is so small. Of course they slashed it uh, because of coronavirus, but in general it's not some huge dividend payment. So. Uh, if I show you my position with Apple, uh, right now with Apple, I currently have $89,000. My current uh, market value is $89,000. I'm doing well, clearly I'm up $10,000 with Apple, but I've held this for a year, okay? Um, so we have $89,000 with Apple and their dividend payment is not that great. And then with Tesla, I have currently 54,000. Uh, it's worth $54,000. And once again, I've held this account for a year as well. And I'm up $20,000, which is 58%. That's pretty freaking incredible. So I don't really, um, when I think about it, I don't really consider Apple and Tesla, you know, in my dividend paying. Um, so that's almost $90,000 and $50,000, like $130,000 that is not really giving me a huge amount as far as dividend payments are concerned. Uh, but once again, when it comes to dividend payments, it's not about the today as much as it is about the future, the tomorrow, if you will. So patience should pay off and you guys are gonna be here uh, to see my journey. That's why I'm gonna continue to make these videos. Once again, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, it helps the channel tremendously, all right? My name is Dwayne with My Investment Journey and I approve this video. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Peace.